students today we'll talk about stokes law and uh, the derivation of the formula using dimensional analysis so what is a stokes law stokes law basically is a formula to find the viscous force when an object spherical object probably say when a spherical object moves through a medium when a spherical object moves through a medium then the frictional force that is known as viscous force which opposes the motion of the object through the fluid is determined by stokes law the law states that the viscous force acting on a spherical object moving through a fluid is directly proportional to the coefficient of viscosity of the liquid the radius of the spherical object and the velocity with which it is moving so finally we'll uh, write the statement then derive using dimensional analysis okay so first let me write the statement the viscous force acting on a spherical body moving through a fluid directly proportional to eta r v eta is the coefficient of viscosity r is the radius of the spherical object v is the velocity with which it is moving now this viscous force we want to find the viscous force and see what we can get that implies the viscous force is proportional to eta r v okay this is the stokes law now we will derive the formula okay where uh, this f is called uh, viscous force eta is called coefficient of viscosity r is the radius of the sphere and v is the velocity okay now let us uh, derivation part let us derive the expression for this okay now <coughs> if we are going to use dimensions so we will write that uh, this force is directly proportional to eta rb i don't know the power of eta or r or v so we will assume that it is a b c okay now if i remove this proportional design i will get a con I'll get equation and i get a constant introduced so that constant this will be k eta raised to a r raised to b b raised to c now this is equation number one and we will use dimensional analysis we use dimension of both sides of the equation and then get the value of a b c that is our m okay so now using dimensional analysis of equation number one what we will get let us move to another place the equation was a f equals to k eta raised to a r raised to b and v raised to c taking dimension on both sides of the equation what you have dimension of force is m l t minus 2 Okay, this k is a constant whose dimension is not found because any number has no dimension. So, in this case, it has no dimension, we keep it outside. So, only 
dimension of these three quantities are to be introduced. The coefficient of uh, viscosity dimension we have uh, already discussed in uh, the previous uh, video that uh, coefficient of viscosity dimension is m l minus 1 t minus 1. So it is m l minus 1 t minus 1 to the power a. So I'll write the whole to the power a. Now r to the power b, r is radius, so it is a length. So write l is to b. Similarly, this is velocity. Velocity is a uh, l t minus 1 and to the whole power c. Now, now what we will do, we will uh, write the similar quantities together, we will add the powers of similar quantities like uh, length here, here and here and t here and here. m to the power a is there because this a is the power of all. So finally you write m to the power a, here it is a less to minus 1 and the power is a. So it is L raised to minus A. Similarly, this is T raised to minus A. Okay. Here it is L raised to B. Here it is L raised to C and T raised to minus C. Okay. This part is clear. Okay. So from this equation, you got this and this. Now m to the power a there is only one m <coughs> so m raised to a will write then l raised to minus a here b here c here so the power will be added off so it will be minus a plus b plus c okay similar t to the power minus a here t to the power minus c here it will be t to the power minus a minus c so that i am going to write okay what i done just add the powers of this, this, this here, this and this here. Now, here the power is uh, 1, here also the power is 1, which is uh, generally not written, but this power is 1. Now, if these two equations, this equation is correct, then this and this, all the terms must have the same dimensions. So, there are two terms, basically, this is one term, this is another term, must have same dimensions. If they are same dimensions, if so, m power is 1 here, then m power should be 1 here. Then only these two will be equal. So now, equate the powers of same quantity. So from here, m raised to 1 should be m raised to a. l raised to 1 should be equal to l raised to of this power. t raised to minus 2 should be equal to t raised to minus 2. So we will first do that and write. So this is what you should do from here what you will get so from this you will get a equals to 1 first you got second from here minus a minus c equals to minus 2 okay a is 1 if you put a is 1 and that goes to that side you can plus so minus c is minus 1 That implies C is 1. From here, minus A plus B plus C is 1. A is 1, C is 1. If you put A is 1, C is 1. These two will cancel. So from here, B is also 1. So ABC you got 1. So what are the value of ABC that you got? You put in equation the original equation that is this equation. You put the value a, b, and c. You got 1, 1, 1 in this equation and rewrite. What you will get finally? a f equals to k eta r v power is 1, 1, 1. As you got a, b, c is 1. Now, this k is found from the experiment and its value is 6 pi. So finally, the formula, Stokes formula, comes out to be
so this is Stokes law. So this is Stokes law. Okay, that's all for this video. Thank you.